my name is Emily LeBlanc, and today I'm going to be talking to you about why I want to do research. Can you hold this for me? Thank you. <laughs> um, as I said, my name is Emily LeBlanc. Next month, I'll be graduating from Temple University with a degree in computer science. In the summer, I'll be joining the Applied Informatics Group at Drexel University as a PhD student. I plan to study artificial intelligence with a focus on robotic swarms. Now, before coming to Temple, I worked in call centers and played a bass in a punk rock band at night. Our name was pretty rude, so I won't repeat it. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun, but after a while, I realized that I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I started taking night classes at Temple. After about a year and a half, I realized that I was adequately challenged and excited, and I enrolled full time. So in my time at Temple, I've come across a lot of really unique opportunities. This is Team Lady Storm. <laughs> and in 2011, we received Temple's Diamond Research Scholar Award, which allowed us to work on an independent programming project over the summer. In that time, we conceptualized and developed software which would allow for a broader range of users to create, uh, to develop creatively with the Microsoft Connect sensor. Um, we did do a number of presentations at a few events. Uh, we had presented at the Grace Hopper Women in Computing Conference in Portland, Oregon, the Temple University Creative Work Symposium, the Temple Future of Computing Competition, and the Undergraduate Research Day in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. Now, this past November, I came back from an internship in Brazil for five months. These are some of the students and professors at Verlab, which is the uh, computer vision and robotics lab at the Federal University of Minas Gerais. In my time there, I learned a lot about artificial intelligence, multi-robot systems, and robotic swarms. Also, I got the chance to travel quite a bit while I was there. This is a photo of myself and my friend Lucas posing on a rock formation about 200 feet above ground level. And while it may look like we're fighting to the death, we're actually just being friends and holding flowers. So, cute. <laughs> so that's enough about me. Let's talk about swarms. Now, in a multi-robot system, a group of robots is working together towards the completion of some task. So imagine, for example, four identical robots tasked with the cleaning of a factory floor. In order for these robots to work efficiently together, a, a set of rules needs to be in place so that they're not crashing into each other or cleaning the same spot on the floor or something horrendous like that. So this is mainly an issue of coordination, and there are a number of ways to approach the problem. So now imagine applying coordination to tens or hundreds or thousands of robots even. Now you're dealing with swarms, and it makes sense to approach the problem of coordination differently. Swarm robotics is a bio-inspired bio approach to the coordination of large groups of physically simple robots. By studying collective behavior in nature, we're able to develop interesting and unique methods for coordinating robotic swarms. So let's take a look at swarms in nature. So here we have a flock of starling birds. Now you can see by looking at these birds that each is following three simple rules of coordination. Number one, don't get too close to your neighbor. Number two, don't get too far from your neighbor. And number three, maintain a similar heading. And you can see how these three rules result in beautiful emergent behavior. They're changing direction and shape, and it appears to be almost artistic. But in reality, it's just a bunch of simple birds doing simple things. <laughs> so now imagine what you can do with these robots. <laughs> you could send them into space to learn more about the composition of the rings of Saturn, or to monitor the atmospheres of potentially habitable worlds. Or you could send them into the bloodstream for diagnostic or surgical purposes. I admit these, these examples are a bit fantastic, but if research continues in this area, we're likely to see similar applications in the not too distant future. So it's my plan in my PhD work and my research career beyond to contribute to this area. So why is this important? Well, we're all here because of Temple. It's because of the support and the guidance that I've gotten from the Temple Computer Science Department faculty and staff that I feel comfortable and excited to walk down this new path in my life. So I want to take this unique opportunity to thank Temple University for allowing all of us to carve our own path that allows us to continue to create and contribute and learn for the rest of our lives. So to Temple University and to my wonderfully supportive family and friends, I sincerely thank you.